Hi everyone, welcome back. So here I'm going to show you how to renew your certification that is Microsoft certification. Uh, I'll be answering these questions regarding your Microsoft renewal that is what are the exams which will expire? How will you know that you are renewal date is nearing and what happens during the renewal time? What are the key points you should always consider while before writing your exam? So let's just go ahead. The first thing you have to do is what you have to log in to your Microsoft Learn account through which you have written your exam. Okay. Uh, an important thing which needs to be discussed is what Microsoft has three different certification level. One is like a fundamental level. So Microsoft has three different uh, level of certification. One is fundamental that is foundational level. Okay. Um, fundamental where this X certification will not expire okay you don't need to renew as well there is no expiration uh, date for this and no renewal needed okay second one is uh, associate level where um, you have to renew it okay it, it will expire for every one year every year you have to renew okay renewal is necessary and third one is the expert level even for this every year like every year or sometimes it might be like 11 months once or something you have to um, renew it okay so why why this associate associate and expert level has this expiration because these are all like always it will be updated every year there will be new topics will be added and this you have to be on track of that right so there will be a renewal process so, so if you are renewing properly first thing is you no need to pay any additional exam fee you don't need to pay exam fee for renewal i'm talking about and the second thing is it won't be a proctored exam okay there now someone will be that no one will be there to see you whether you are writing it properly or not the third one third important thing is what you'll be having only 25 questions okay and that too based on the latest updates which are, which happened for that particular uh, um, certification for example you have completed pl 300 and if you are writing this renewal exam so you you have to do all these things okay and the fourth one is unlimited attempts okay unlimited attempts which means that for every uh, for every 24 hours okay so the third question you'll be getting is what like when i have to write the exam how I will know that I have to write the exam okay so the first question what are the certification uh, exam you have to renew the second question is for renewal what are the uh, key points for the renewal and the third one is how you will be get notified okay that is what I'm going to show you so once if you log into your Microsoft learn account through which you have written the exam so on the left side you can see there is an option called credentials okay just if you click on this credentials it will take you to all all the exam which you have completed okay so just if you click on this certification and if you just scroll here you can see that this is renew okay that is actually your renewal date is my renewal date is may 15 2025 okay and if i renew now i can extend up to may 16 2026 okay so uh, you can see here that i have actually earned this on may 15 2021 uh, i got an email from microsoft you can also see that you have to renew by may 16 2025 this particular time okay you can i can even start uh, writing the exam now so 25 questions will be there you can click here and start writing the exam okay and you can ask me another question um only if i go to the credentials i will be knowing this renewal no microsoft will send you an email okay you have to check your email uh, through which you have written the exam okay i'll show you my email so here is my email okay so you can see here renew when it uh, when they have just posted it so i received this mail on 18th of november 2024 mentioning that renew your microsoft certified power bi data analyst associate exam and it is available until may 15 2025 so you can even find this in your junk folder okay so you can even find this in the other okay you can see some other folders as well 
but they will be sending you this okay once if you click this renew certification it will take you to that particular certification link so before six months you will be getting you will get notified about this okay and from that point of time you know i have nearly six months time right i can click here to renew so here there is a renew option i can click here to renew so once if i click here it is showing me that take the renewal assessment so it's free okay you can see it's free so if i click on the take the renewal assessment it will start my question so i cannot show you the question so uh, because it's uh, <laughs> it's not like i i hope you can understand so you can start writing the exam and you can see that there is 25 questions okay you have to attend the 25 questions for example if you are uh, writing for the first time and if you have failed it okay no problem immediately you can try for the first time immediately two, two times you can try next next okay like uh, you know, immediately you can try after two tries if you haven't f passed then after 24 hours you can try for every 24 hours you can try which means that nearly you have for the six months you can try for every day to pass this exam okay you will be getting a combination of various questions random questions so you cannot always expect the same question the first attempt whatever you have written whatever you have attempted the same question you will be getting it no you will be getting a combination of various questions but few questions may repeat okay once you have completed this you know like it will be like once you have passed this exam then your certification will be extended for another one more year okay so how you will be getting notified you will first get notified six months before uh, before your renewal your exact renewal date okay um, and where you will be getting notified you will be getting notified in your email first thing your email you can try or as you can also check your microsoft learn account in the certification um, page where you have uh, through which email id you have written your exam okay so it's that's all about this uh, so please go and first renew your certification check whether you have any renewal pending please complete it because it, it does not involve any exam fee or proctoring or um, uh, or only one attempts or two attempts please do it in your leisure time complete it if you have any queries please don't forget to um, like ping me okay so i have cleared this exam and immediately i got this result like i have renewed this certification and it has been renewed extended for one more year okay so it's very simple you have to just attend okay attempt and um, whatever the questions you have please post it mm.